If there's any sound that transcends senses and stimulates your nostrils, it's movie theater popcorn. Since the COVID-19 pandemic, movie theaters have struggled to compete with streaming services. Through 2020 and 2021, at-home streaming options led some to believe the movie theater experience was dying. Enter 2022. This past summer alone, two movies, Paramount's Top Gun Maverick and Universal's Jurassic World Dominion, were inducted into the Billion Dollar Club, begging the question, is the box office recovering from the pandemic? No, it was very uncertain, very uncertain time. And then even coming back was even more uncertain because, you know, we're back, we're showing movies, but nobody's showing up, no movies are coming out, no movies are being shot, there's no product. I mean, it's kind of like <clears throat> having a Walmart with no groceries in it. It's an empty shell. You know, and then, but as it gradually things progressed and, you know, time went on, <clears throat> I think it slowly, slowly has gotten, it, it's still taking time. It's still, people are still coming back to the movies for the first time. According to data pulled from Box Office Mojo, a site that tracks all box office revenue, there's a noticeable trend in the total domestic gross increasing as time has passed from the start of the pandemic. In this chart, we can see while 2019 ended with a massive $11.2 billion, 2020 mustered a measly $2 billion, an 82% drop-off due to the pandemic. While still in the shadow of COVID's variants, 2021 managed to rake in $4.5 billion. Finally, in 2022, we can see that with roughly three weeks left, the box office has seen a healthy $6.7 billion. With an even closer look at 2022, we can see what genres have brought the bucks. Superhero blockbusters continue to dominate with 42% of the number one releases every week being some sort of superhero adaptation. In second place with 23% of the number one spots were action movies. A surprise to some, third place was claimed by R-rated horror flicks with 15%. People, especially with the horror movies, they want the atmosphere for the horror movies. They want, they want a big room, a big screen, loudspeakers dark lights, you know, the lights out. I mean, it just, uh, for horror movies, it's just the atmosphere it creates. And it, when the jump scares happen, everybody, <gasps> people like that. People like being in a crowd and, you know, feel everybody's feel, here for the same reason. They're feeling the same feeling and they're here for an experience. And, you know, horror movies are thriving in a time when just a few years ago, people thought horror movies were dead. While this data could point to certain genres of movies bringing in the audience, some customers simply find value in the connection among people after a long two years of caution in public spaces. But just being back in the environment, you know, being able to do things with other people really got me going and really got me wanting to come out here and explore, meet new people and, you know, get situated. While streaming services continue to get new exclusives, plenty of directors are adamant about keeping theaters alive. With James Cameron's Avatar The Way of Water releasing exclusively in theaters this week, a significant jump in the 2022 box office revenue can be expected before the year's end. In Lexington, I'm Jackson Houston.